Today's video is going to be a survival guide for Warp Tour. I'm going to basically be telling you guys some of the essential things to bring and give you just a few tips so it'll make your day at Warp Tour just a little bit easier. All right, so to start this video off, the first thing you need to bring to Warp Tour, of course, is your ticket. Don't forget to bring your ticket. That's the most important thing. If you're very forgetful, I would pack it in your bag the night before, or put it in your wallet or somewhere so that you remember to bring it with you because if you forget your ticket, you have to drive all the way back home and go get it and that's just not gonna be fun. Be sure to wake up on time if you wanna be at Warp Tour early. Get to the venue somewhat early. Not too early, but I mean early enough because the lines get really, really, really long and you're gonna be staying there for a while. But then again, it doesn't really matter because most of the time, once people open up the lines, everybody just clutters in there and most people just skip to the front and get in front of you either way. So it's going to just be there early so you can get inside pretty quickly. The next thing you guys need is to bring a backpack. Inside that backpack, you should for sure bring water because it gets hot as hell. You will legit be burning up at warp, so you will legit be burning. Like, it gets so fucking hot. It is insane. So be sure to bring water. Bring an extra shirt or something to take off all your sweat because you're going to be sweating a lot. If you're somebody like me and you don't like getting sunburned, bring sunblock. Bring a whole can of it. Me, myself, I spray almost half the can on before I go in. And then midway through, I spray half like the rest of the can on because I do not like getting sunburned. So be sure to bring sunblock also. Hats will also help cool you off, so bring some of those glasses in case you don't want to get blinded by the sun. Those are also good to bring. I recommend you bring a, a drawstring type bag. Don't bring regular backpack because if you bring a regular backpack, the little straps right here, they will burn your shoulders up. That's what happened to me last year. I brought a regular backpack instead of a drawstring like I did my first year going. And the regular backpack burned like real nasty. It had a real nasty sunburn. So if you want to avoid sunburn at all costs, bring a drawstring backpack. That is much better. Let's go ahead and talk about clothing. The type of clothes you want to wear are lightweight, loose type clothing. You don't want to wear it. Super tight shirts, long sleeves. Try to avoid wearing jeans and stuff like that. You basically want to be showing some skin, but not too much skin. Usually I see girls wearing bikini tops. Guys usually wear tank tops like this. Shorts is what basically everybody wears at Warped Tour. Everybody's always rocking jean shorts, workout shorts, you know, stuff like that. Just try not to wear too much stuff because like I said, you're going to be sweating a lot. And you try, you want to keep as cool as possible. You don't want to have a heat stroke out there. You don't want to be one of the people that get carried off in those little flat beds and everybody's like laughing at you. Don't be that person. When you're inside the gates at Warped Tour, be sure to buy one of the little maps. Those are very useful. It lets you know where all the bands play. That way you have an idea of what's going on. Don't be like me my first year at Warped Tour. I didn't buy a map, so I was literally walking around and I had no clue who was playing and where they're playing at and all that. So it just causes a bunch of trouble. So be sure to buy one of the little maps as soon as you walk in through the gates. Those are very, very useful the day of the Warped Tour. Bring lots and lots of money because if you run out of water and you don't go to a refill station, then you're gonna have to buy water there and water there is like $5 or something. So you're just gonna get very expensive. You're gonna get very thirsty and very hungry. And plus you're gonna see stuff you wanna buy from the merch tables. So be sure to bring lots and lots of money. Don't forget that. Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is everywhere, but I know here in Houston, we usually get a lot of the food trucks that go to Warped Tour. So if you're new to Warped Tour, or if you've been going to Warped Tour for many, many years, go try a new food, man. Like I love going to Warped Tour. And I, I look forward to trying like all the different foods there. Like every year I go, I try something new and I always find something new that I like. I usually like to just stick to eating chicken tenders, but when I go to Warped Tour, I try something new and I always find something I like, like I said. So be sure to try out new foods there and you won't regret it. So yeah, guys, those are pretty much my little tips and stuff for you guys that are new to going to Warped Tour. Maybe this is your second year and you fucked up last year and you want to make up this year. Hopefully this video will help you out. Hope you all have a good time in Warped Tour. Be sure to enjoy yourself. I'm going to be at Warped Tour Houston myself. So if you see me there and tell me what's up, I hope to see you guys in my next video. This has been Too Crucial. I'm out. Peace.